It's a haunted house. Baby. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, mm. and I have a quick story to tell how we built this. Story will tell you. Now, this house was built in the late 1800s by Mr. Kaseski, and he built it for his wife. The reason behind that being his wife was originally from around here, and he had some family down here as well. At the time, well, this is where it gets fuzzy. At the time, they were either living in Toronto or England, is what I'm told. And since I was also told that all of the, the wood, the stone, etc. that went into building this house came from England and Scotland because he wanted the house to be authentic, I'm guessing they did live near England. Now, of course, the reason this house was built was because Mr. Pesesky wanted to move back down here, but his wife loved the house they were living in at the time too much, and so he replicated it, as you can see. And they lived in it for a while until something happened, I'm still not entirely sure what, but it was mostly the wife who decided they should get a divorce. The problem with that being that in his will, Mr. Pesesky had stated that he wanted the house to go to the Historic Society when he died. But if they went through with the divorce, then of course the wife would get half the estate and that wouldn't happen. And so he decided to make sure it would happen and he killed himself in this house. In this house? Yes. Wow. Now, most people seem to agree that he shot himself. The only difference between their stories is being where in the house he did it. Some have said it was downstairs. My personal guess is it may have been in the room directly below the living room, because that was his study. Others say the attic. Now, since of course the divorce hadn't been finalized, the house did go to the Historic Society, and it stayed in the historic building for quite some time. Uh, my mother, grandmother, and friends of theirs, after bringing the story up, all say they remember coming here and touring the place before the park was built. And then in 1989, when the park was built, it was built here because they were given the rights to build the rest of the theme park around the already standing tourist attraction. Which, of course, is why this house looks so strange compared to all the other buildings in the park. Because, trust me, Upper Clements Park doesn't have the funds, the time, or the patience to bother building something so elaborate just to fill it with cheesy Halloween decorations. And now this is a true story. I've been told by the person who worked here last year that a nephew confirmed the story, as well as my grandmother. I'm pretty sure she said it was the ex-wife of a past fiancé of hers, who was also a descendant of the Pesesky family. And there was one more small story. I guess there was someone who had hung themselves here as well. A young, is it a young man or a teenage boy? As dark as that sounds, that was one more story that I had just been told yesterday. <laughs> now this room down here is the red room or the coffee room and it's basically like an old time funeral. They would lay somebody out in an open coffin in a room that was for up to a week. Everywhere, everywhere, but out there. Yeah, I can't bring them. I'm just drawing them over there. Come in, man. See how it's easy to do. Oh, yeah, that. Flashlights are cheating. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 
It was only her screaming. Yeah, it was just me and her. Yeah, we go out. The exit's that way. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't tell your grandmother it was okay, and you guys were in here screaming like the answer. This is good. This is good. Yeah, never turned it down. You're No. 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 Thank you. <laughs>